studio. Let's turn things over to Kevin Holland, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is the end. The long journey now reaches its epic conclusion. The pinnacle atop this stage with the attention of millions far and wide. Two teams hardened by the fire of competition find themselves within arm's reach of destiny. Within grasp, their place amongst the immortal legends of the game. Welcome to the NBA Finals. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the San Antonio Spurs. A quick check now at the starting lineup for both teams. And, guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Robinson? Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but, you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trigger. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over him, but you know, in an instant, he lets that shot go, and he is accurate. You know, something else with him, you can't forget about his skill as a pull-up shooter. I mean, you give him too much room, and he won't hesitate for a second to raise up and spray you with that jet. Oh, here's Parker. Ginobili in stage. Ginobili kicks to Parker. Stolen by Bird. For the finish, throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points there. That dunk Clark coming within seconds of the steal. All the way they convert from defense to offense. Well, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. And so it's the Celtics sitting on the board first. Rocket six. Parker's shot is off. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. But Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. History may not be on their side tonight, but he said that's okay with them. They want to make a little history of their own and become one of the few teams to win Game 7 of the NBA Finals on the road. He said, believe me, this is a challenge we're up to. Let's see, guys. And as always, Doris, thank you. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Feeds it to Genova. That was good. Here's Johnson. with a screen on Parker. Parker against Johnson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way at that time, so he'll shoot two right here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two minutes in. Parker outside. And there's the pass to Robinson. Back to Parker. Robinson inside. Stolen by Bird. Now Wayne. He feeds it to Johnson. Pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Charity swipe shot. The shot is off. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Duncan kicks to Genova. Dishes it to Parker. Yeah. 
The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, he earned that one, took the hit, and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done, you like that focus. Free throw good by Parker. The Celtics with the lead. Johnson outside. He's against Parker. Johnson, good. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Oh, here's Parker. He passes to Robinson. Back to Parker. That doesn't go on the chance to top. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage is nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Backing him down is Johnson. And the call will be against Tony Parker. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul already. And that's going to force him to, I think, tone it down a little bit at the defensive end. Boys check in for the Spurs. Woodrick comes in for Tony Parker. McHale dishes the bird. Back to McHale. Great play by Bird to set it up. McHale's got his first bucket of the night. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Ori passes to Ginobili. Here is Ori. Ainge covering. Six on the shot clock. On the wing. The shot by Ori. No good. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. Ainge kicks to Johnson. Back to Ainge. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Bird. A 15-footer. Bank shot. No good. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Here is Rory. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Kicks to Duncan. And that is good. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Celtics leading by three. Pass to Pierce. And there's the feed to Bird. Pass to Johnson. The bird on loads and it's wide right it's off the rim what was the defense doing there I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to and yet they got away with it or he gets the genome there's the pass to or duncan against the kale the dish to udrick back to duncan second chance shot can't get it to go McHale with some nice D. Bird kicks to Ainge. Johnson outside. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The Celtics have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Making a switch here. So Johnson hits two of them. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. He needs to get them back into a flow offensively. You know, things have gotten stagnant for them and they're starting to force some of these shots. And that can snowball on you. One guy takes a bad shot, then another guy does, and then you're missing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shots, and all of a sudden, you have no rhythm and you're self-inflicting wounds.
Spurs trail by five. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They've got to get going. Here's Hudrick. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five to shoot. Here's Ori. Here's Muhammad. And that's collected by Bill Walton. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Johnson dishes to Burrow. Back to Johnson. He kicks it to McHale. Shot is off. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Now Udrick. Pass it to Bowen. That's good. It's Udrick with the assist that time. And that's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. So it's Boston now. Pass to Wedman. Feeds to Bird. This is at the wall. Can it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Well, Celtics making a switch here. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Bill. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. He feeds it to Brown. To the inside. And the basket by Muhammad. It's a tie ball game. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Now the basket to Wedman. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Bolton. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Well, Kevin, when he's got the ball down the low post, he has a huge variety of moves to choose from. So it's tough to defend him. He's got great footwork and finesse. He figures out a way to get it done. And also with him, don't think you can collapse the defense on him when he gets the ball in the low post because he is a superb passer. He'll find whoever's been left open. Here's Barry. He dishes it to Muhammad. It's Brown on the wing. Brown right side. Shots good. And the Celtics with possession here. Kicks it to Walton. Six to shoot. Baseline try, rejected by Muhammad, and that one's good. Walton's got five points so far. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. The feed to Brown. Backing in. Here's Massenburg. And you can count he'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. How about that point? Great body control. Still manages to finish the play despite the contact. You know, when that whistle blows, you're not done. Get greedy and find a way to knock it down. Here is Z-Sting. Passes it to Wedman. The nine-foot shot. San Antonio with the rebound. Brown outside. Pass to Barry. He passes to Bowen. Brown. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, that's a warm-up jumper there. I mean, when you're a pro, you can't make excuses for missing that one. The pass to Seasting. Brown. 
103 left in the first quarter. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. This is his first chance at the line tonight. That free throw missing. Vincent's checked in for Wedman. the pass to Walton. Forty-one seconds left here in the opening quarter. Passes it to Vincent. Shot clock at five. Goes back up. Cut the bucket. And the Celtics lead by one. Now, Parker. Parker, right side. Gets it to go. Parker's got five. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Walton. With one on the clock, got it to go, but no time left on the clock. You talk about stepping up at a big moment. That is some fortitude, folks. Oh, I oh, should man. say. The awareness, the release, everything was just perfect. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Celtics. They're up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And welcome back to this Game 7 as we get ready to get back into the action. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. On the court for San Antonio. They've got Robinson. Muhammad out there with Duncan. Then it's Tony Parker. And it's Brown in the shooting guard position. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. So it'll be Robert Parrish shooting. Tim Duncan picks one up. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Celtics? And some great drives to the bucket for them to this point, guys. You know, they've been strong in the post so far tonight as well. I mean, you always need to get points down low to have balance on offense. We throw no good for Parrish. Spurs trail by three. Ginobili kicks to Parker. Back to Ginobili. Pass to Mysterio. And the bucket counts. He's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. I mean, defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. And he's got his first chance at the line here. So it's Boston now. There's the dish to Bird. The pass to Vincent. Six on the shot clock. And it's Parrish missing. And here comes Park. He kicks it to Genova. Defended by Vincent. Goes up on the elbow. And Boston with the rebound. Bird's got three rebounds now in this one. Carlisle passes to Vincent. Here is Carlisle. Nice ball movement by Boston. Misses the lane. 
Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Now here's Genova. He's tightly guarded. Parker kicks to Genova. Back to Parker. For the three. And that one's good. Parker's got eight. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. And Bird backs him in. Shoots from the post. And the shot is good. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Passes it to Nesterovich. Ginobili with the ball. Feeds it to Robinson. Back to Ginobili. Dishes it to Parker. And another basket for San Antonio. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Vincent, the pass to Pitt. He feeds it to Bird. He passes it to Carlisle. On the wing, and the shot is good. You know, he, he's not somebody they lean on for points, but when he does score, that's a bonus. San Antonio calls timeout. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Boston. as the Celtics gain possession. Looked like some miscommunication there offensively. Those guys were not on the same page. So it's Boston now. They trail by one. Johnson dishes to Ainge. Bird gets to McCain. Now the feed to Parrish. Pass to Bird. Five on the clock. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Bird's got four points this quarter. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Give and take, back and forth, the whole way thus far. They have six lead changes already, and as Rasheed Wallace once said, both teams playing hard, my man. Well, he defended the shot, got back into play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. Ames the pass to Johnson. McKay off on the way. And here is Parker. He's got 10. Pass to Orton. He dishes it to Parker. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Outside, Ginobili. Offensive rebound. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. They know Udrick. He's checked in for San Antonio. The Celtics with the lead. Johnson outside. Back to Bird. Kicks it to Parrish. Duncan is there. Tries in the post. That's foul number two on him. They might not warrant sitting in entirely, but uh, you know, another one before halftime, they could, they could be in some trouble. Off the inbound, Johnson, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, he's a matchup nightmare defensively. Even the best offensive players in the league have a tough time scoring against him. And I tell you, another quality that separates him from the crowd is the way he will fight his way through any screen in front of him. I mean, he just takes pride in not losing his man easily. And that one falls for Johnson. second so he makes them both Spurs trail by three 
Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. That was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. Here's Hudrick looking for his first basket still in this one. Ginobili outside. The dish to Udrick. Down to five on the shot clock. Celtics leading by three. The pass to Ainge. He kicks to Johnson. Pass to Bird. Parker with the steal. Parker left side. Ginobili. Bird cover. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. San Antonio making a switch here. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning a timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. McHale outside. Back to Parrish. Feeds it to Bird. This is the Parrish. Duncan is there. A fader. No good. Spurs trail by three. He feeds it to Udrick. Nice ball boomer by San Antonio. He passes to Parker. Four. No good. That would have tied it. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. Well, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it's usually lights out. Now here's Johnson. He's got eight. Bird outside. Just five on the clock. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Bird's got six points in the quarter. He is really having a good quarter, a strong quarter, an efficient quarter, doing a lot of positive things out there. Udrick dishes to Duncan. Shot to stop the drum. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. Parrish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Johnson kicks to Bird. Back to Johnson. Back to Bird. Shot from free throw range. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Duncan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Parker passes to Ork. Back to Parker. The feed to Udrick. Parker outside. Takes a three. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number five here tonight. Johnson kicks to Ainge. Pass to McCabe. Defended by Bowen. 16 feet away. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. Yeah, forcing that miss right there. Great effort. And that's good. Robert Ory for three. Ory's got his first three points of the game. That's something we didn't see at all from him in the first half when he had a goose egg from three-point land. Johnson kicks to Ainge. McHale. Ory defending. McHale dishes the Paris. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Now you can tell what the crowd thinks about that call. Yeah, they erupted as soon as the whistle blew. Spurs trail by four. Parker outside. Muhammad against Walton. Pass to Bowen. Lock at six. A rebound by the Celtics. Johnson with it. Now defended by Bowen. 
Ainge gets to McHale. A jump hook. McHale missing again. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. And the pass to Bowen. Back to Parker. Passes it to Bowen. He dishes it to Parker. Top of the key. Misses off the right iron. Austin laden by four. Ames the pass to Johnson. Back to Ainge. Kicks it to Johnson. Now the dish to McHale. Shoots from the right block. Here's Horton. And oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And he makes the first. So Walton nails both of them. Here's Barry. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. He kicks it to Muhammad. Feeds the Parker. Parker off the pick from Muhammad. And Parker, here we go. He used that pick to get in close. Parker's got seven points for the quarter. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Johnson kicks to McKay. One fifteen left to play here in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. Austin needs to get off a shot. Here's Ainge. Can't get it to go. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Pass to Bowen. Back to Parker. Tries to save it. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. The Celtics making a switch here. Birds checked in. There's 45 seconds left now here in the second. Four on the shot clock. And here's Brown outside. That's good. Brown's got six. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. There's the pass to Vincent. Dishes to Bird. He passes to Vincent. Back to Bird. From deep. Rebounded by Bowen. Boy, that was way behind the line. Now, he can make that at times. He certainly is one of the guys that can actually do it from there. Here's Muhammad, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And how did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Spurs lead by two. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, brought to you by Sprint. An entire season has come down to this. It's game seven of the NBA Finals. Nothing more needs to be said. The Spurs battling in a close one against Boston. This contest could tip either way. We got a wild second half coming up in Game 7 of the Finals. Everything is going right for Tony Parker all over the court against Boston. He's got a dozen points, and his two-way play has been good. Very active on the defensive side of the floor, bothering shots and bringing that energy all over the court. Looking at Boston, they're definitely making plays as well. Their advantage in free throw percentage has given them a significant edge. An impressive first half for Larry Bird. He's got eight points, been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well, gotten the job done on the glass too. 
And that'll wrap things up for me here in the studio. Second half is just around the corner. Thanks so much for stopping by. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. It's been a clinic from Tony Parker. How about the opening half of basketball? He played so much riding on this game, and he came out and took immediate control. And that's part of what makes him special. In big games, he lays it all out there. He wants to be the one to win it or lose it for him. On the court for the Celtics, Kevin McHale out there with Bird. Then there's Ainge, then it's Parrish, and it's Johnson in at the points. The Celtics have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And that one falls for McHale. And McHale drops them both. Here is Parker. Robinson goes in. Back to Parker. Passes it to Miscarriage. Parrish is there. Shoots it up. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got six rebounds now in the game. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Parker. Now here is Ainge. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. A shot by Johnson. No good. And excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Parker passes to Nesterovich. Ginobili outside. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Robinson. Back to Ginobili. On deep three-point range. Larry Bird grabs the miss. Bird's got six rebounds here tonight. Johnson outside. Bird. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find some, you're right. It's off his foot, and the ref saying he kicked it. Off the inbound pass, Parker. The bucket is good, and with a chance for one more. It goes on Kevin McCabe. You know, size-wise, this is not a great one-on-one -on -one matchup for him, but he got that shot to go. But you wouldn't know it by how he finished. That's a nice hoop there. San Antonio shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And the free throw, no good. The Celtics with the lead. From 15 feet away, and that one hits back iron. Really high quality shot there, just a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. Back to Ginobili. Six on the shot clock. Here's Duncan. And the go ahead bucket, no good. One for four from the field since halftime. They're having a tough time getting it going here. Johnson attacking. The feed now to McHale. Nice D from Duncan. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Pass to Duncan. Parker sets the screen for Duncan. Rebound Parrish. Parrish has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Johnson with it. Picked up by Ginobili. Bird against Duncan. And Bird, here we go. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Duncan. Robinson with it. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Parker kicks to Ginobili. Last in the stairs. For the lead. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Danny Ainge. The Spurs have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Ozzy Muhammad checked in for the Spurs. Barry comes in for Robinson. He doesn't get the second one. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. And that one's good. So it's San Antonio now. Parker passes to Muhammad. Spurs passing it around. Ginobili kicks to Duncan. Can't connect from short range. Yeah, an excellent interior defense there. Good rotations. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Now here's Johnson. Eight points for him. He dishes it to Bird. Fader on the way. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. Austin making a switch here. Here's Brown. He has six. The pass to Bowen. Back to Brown. It is now to Muhammad. Lock at six. Here's Bowen. Kept alive. And he lays it straight in. He's got five. And so it's Boston with it. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Kicks to Walton. Passes to Vincent. Back to Walton. Here's Wedman. Feeds away. Rebound San Antonio. Mohammed's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Brown outside. He kicks to Duncan. He passes to Bowen. For the lead, gets it to go. And the Spurs lead by three. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Here's Vincent. Pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent, defended by Bowen. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. The Spurs making a switch here. Here is Barker. He's got 14. Feeds it to Muhammad. Brown. Here's the screen. The pass to Nesterovich. Here's Barry. Brown outside. Just five to shoot. From downtown, and Boston with the rebound. Vincent, the pass to Wedman. Here's Vincent, covered by Mom. Passes it to Wedman. Vincent. Pass to Wedman. Unloads from 13. The pass to Vincent. Here's Wedman. Here's Vincent, defended by Barry. Passes it to Wedman to stop the drought. Good, he hits the jump shot. Yeah, he's a bomber. I mean, that's what I love about him. He's as good a three-point shooter as you'll see. And, uh, of 
course, has the green light to let it fly anytime he wants. And another thing about his game that's really noticeable is how well he handles defensive pressure when he's getting his shot off. He's a very composed shooter. Seasting. And that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes, and excellent play. These two teams, guys, look so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. Brown with it. Now guarded by Bill Walton. Brown, the pass to Barrett. Back to Brown. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And the Celtics making a change here. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Vincent. Pass to Carlisle. The Celtics working the ball around now. Shot clock at six. Bird outside. On deep. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Danny Ainge has checked in for Vincent. So it's San Antonio now. It's a one-point game. Ginobili with the ball. Now guarded by Carlisle. Pass to Ori. This is to Ginobili. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Nazi Muhammad. Ginobili's gone only one of five shooting from the floor. Now Ainge. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Bird right side. Off the left rim and out. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Ginobili kicks to Duncan. Parrish is there. Duncan dishes to Ginobili. Back to Duncan. Ginobili outside. Pocket four. To end the drought. Can't get it to go. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Now the pass to Carlisle. He feeds it to Parrish. Duncan on him. Shot from the low block. The shot's good from Parrish. They got on this roll a while ago and they just haven't looked back. Now here's Parker. He's got 14. There's the feed to Robinson. Back to Parker. Ori. Otto Ginobili on the wing. To tie. That is good. Ginobili's got six. You know, they've got to make him earn those three. You play off of him, and he's automatic from that distance. Parrish with a screen on Ginobili. Screen by Parrish. Bird outside. Bird right side. Fades. The shot is good off the backboard. 15 points in the game. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Yeah, they're getting exposed right now. Now here's Ginobili. He's got six. He dishes it to Duncan. Picks it out to Ginobili. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. It was really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist call between these two teams. Now a timeout called by Boston. And during the timeout, both coaches getting a chance here to review the strategy at this point of the game along with the discussions. Also some rehydration going on with Gatorade. Everyone trying to bring their top game here tonight. Yeah, that's why you see the trainers going around to every player making sure they're hydrated they're getting enough to drink during the game and so important to hydrate yourself and keep yourself strong and, and ready to play for these big minutes down the stretch and here is johnson on ginobili getting his three to go here is bird and this is it off the right side of the rim san antonio leading robinson with it now defended by Ainge. 
Parker outside. Back to Robinson. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Danny Ainge. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. Um, that's a good strategy when you're on top. The Celtics making a switch here. The Spurs have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. And that one falls for Robinson. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. Bird, guarded by Robinson. On the wing, Bird. One second left. No good. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's San Antonio up by four. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for San Antonio. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And I also like the penetration. And they're getting into the paint and getting a lot of easy hoops from those strong drives. We've got Tony Parker. Also, Ginobili out there. Robinson is out there with Kazi Muhammad and Miskerovic. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Here is Seasting. There's the dish to McHale. Releases. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And that one falls for McHale. You know, even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. This time. I think they've done a good job of making the most of their chances at the line, and they've got to keep it up to take the lead. Walton's checked in for Boston. He hits both from the struggle. So it's San Antonio now. They lead by four. Parker passes to Muhammad. Kicks it to Robinson. Feeds it to Parker. Ginobili outside. Five on the clock. Back to Parker. From deep three-point range, the long-distance three is there. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. And those shots have just come on easy, open look. Now here's Johnson. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Boston needs to do a better job guarding against Parker. He has 17 points, and he's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Well, he's been playing a very energetic brand of defense, Clark. you got to love it. And he can't get the first one. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on it. The Celtics making a switch here. Angels checked in. Johnson attacking. <laughs> We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Off target with the jump hook. Parker dishes to Geno. Back to Parker. They set the pick. Parker double teamed. Geno. Six to shoot. Parker kicks to Genova. And it's good in the assist by Parker. And that's 12 points for Mano Genova. Ooh, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Now, here's Bird. Bird left side. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Now, a severe lack of awareness on his part. He had no idea he was, he was near the out-of-bounds line. Robert Parrish has checked in for the Celtics. Mm -hmm. 
Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Parker with it. Outside Robinson from deep. Rebound, Parrish. Celtics trail by 11. Johnson outside. He kicks it to Burr. Back to Johnson. He passes to Pierce. Six on the shot clock. Dishes it to Ingram. To stop the run. Pulls up. Spurs leading by nine. And here is Parker. Passes it to Mysterovich. Mano Ginobili on the wing. Six to shoot. Parker outside. Fires the three. The Spurs rebound. Ginobili with the three. That one goes. Count. Ginobili's got 13 points in the second half. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys, and the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. Now a timeout called by Boston. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively, saying, listen, let's make the simple play. Take care of the basketball. We can't afford to waste any possessions. Guys, can they clean it up? And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Johnson, the pass to Ainge. Back to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Pass to Ainge. Let's it go from deep. They grab their own miss. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Take a look at what Paris has done. He's got 12 rebounds and eight points. The first free throw is good. Decide to talk it over. Yeah, they were getting windy. Good call here to give them a quick breather. Here's the dunk. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Ames gets to Johnson. With the fadeaway. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Duncan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. First one falls for Drops them both. Celtics trail by 12. Johnson kicks to Parrish. Back to Johnson. Rocket six. 
Now Parrish inside. And he was fouled on the way out. Two free throws now for him. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that. Kicks to Parker. Pass to Robinson. Shot off the pick. Rebound Boston. McHale's got three rebounds now in this one. Johnson, the pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. Danny Ainge on the wing. Just three to shoot. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Ainge has got four this quarter. And here are the Spurs. They've held a 12-point lead early. Parker with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Parker off the pick from Duncan. Right side Robinson. Wide open look. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Celtics trail by nine. Ainge dishes to Johnson. Bird is spin on Janot. Johnson kicks to Bird. Shot is off. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Here's Parker. There's a good screen. Double team on Parker. Back to Ginobili. He feeds it to Parker. Shot clock at six. Back to Ginobili. Three-pointer. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Back to Ainge. And there's the pass to Bird. Parrish with the screen on Robinson. Ginobili against Bird. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. Here is Bird. Nesterovic, defended by Parrish. Parker against Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. That's good. And the Spurs lead by nine. Gone three for four from the four tonight. Clark David struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. The feed to Ing. McHale with a screen on Genoa. Ainge kicks to Bird. Five to shoot. Robinson on him. Left block shot on the way. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. San Antonio leading by nine. Pass to Nesterovic. He dishes it to Robinson. Parker outside. Feeds it to Genova. Six to shoot. In to Tim Duncan. The 10 footer. That's good. And now an 11 point San Antonio lead. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Ames kicks to Bird. Robinson on him. Shoots from 14, gets the bucket. Bird's got 11 points here in just the second half. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. Ginobili the pass to Parker. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Robinson goes in. And the layup falls. Now Johnson. 
Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Yeah, clearly they were starting to show signs of fatigue, so Coach wanted to give them a second to get their win back. The dish to English. Kicks it to Bird. Six on the shot clock. No luck. Some solid defense from Robinson. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Here's the screen. It's Parker with the drive. Parker lets up. Here's Mysterovich, and it's good with time running down in the shot clock. And the Spurs lead by 13. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Johnson dishes to McHale. Now Parrish inside. McHale with a screen on Robinson. And Bird, here we go. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Bird's got 13 points in the second half. Spurs leading by 11. Pass to Nesterovich. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Robinson kicks to Parker. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. Gets it to go. That's his second three-pointer of the half and his third overall. Johnson with it. He kicks to Ainge. There's 45 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Up top, Bird. Shoots. And the jumper falls for him. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing margin a little more respectable. Now here's Parker. Levast and Nesterovich. Back to Parker. Dishes it to Genova. Pass to Parker. That one wide left. Here's Ainge. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. You know, Kevin, you go way back to the beginning of the season and all the hours they put into this year. This is what it's about. This is what it's for, to be an NBA champion. And the NBA season can be grueling at times, but Steve, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. And there's something so special, Kevin, about winning it at home in front of your fans who have kind of ridden that roller coaster with you, gone through all the adversity, the ups and downs, the emotions. And when you finally get that championship, it is so special when you can enjoy it with your home crowd. And now we go down to the floor where NBA Commissioner Adam Silver will be presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy and announcing the NBA Finals MVP award winner. Thank you to these two great teams who gave us an exhilarating seven-game final series. Thank you for the dedication, the passion, the intensity, and the teamwork. These are two very worthy teams, but there can only be one champion. Congratulations to the players, the coaches, and the fans as I present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the NBA champions. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. From the owner of the team all the way down to the ball boys, you have to hand it to the entire organization, Steve. 
They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually, in front of the home crowd. What a night. And now we turn our attention courtside to the presentation of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award and the Larry O'Brien Trophy with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. A tremendously talented player and deserving the award named for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Mark, I can speak to myself, but hasn't this been a tremendous playoffs? It really has been, Kevin. I mean, you never know when you start the postseason what you're in store for, how things will turn up. But we now all know what the end result was. Steve, I know you've enjoyed every second of this series. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to watch, Kevin. And, and what impresses me the most is, you know, the NBA playoffs are such a grind. Uh, to win it all, to go through so much adversity, the roller coaster ride of emotions, and now all of a sudden this team uh, can just relax and let out everything and enjoy the night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. For Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.